we are asked to look for the value of x here so what are we going to do so i'm going to do something like 2 to the power of x then i'm going to multiply the power by 1 over x so the same thing to the second to the power of 1 over x so if i multiply 1 over x by the power of the two sides so i'm going to see that this we cancel this so i'm going to be having 2 equals then i'm going to have x to the power of 1 over x all right so from there the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to have taking the log of both sides that is ln of 2 equals ln of x to the power of 1 over x so now from here so we're going to have ln of 2 equals 1 over x ln of x all right so the next thing we're going to do here permit me to rewrite this equation or to rearrange this equation so i'm going to be having 1 over x ln of x equals ln of 2 so it doesn't change anything here so now from there the next thing i'm going to do here is that i want you to recall recall that 1 over x can be written as x to the power of minus 1 that is from the law of indices all right so we're going to have this one over x will be written as x to the power of minus 1 that is this one here so it's going to be written as x to the power of minus 1 so i have ln of x then equals ln of 2 so now from there the next thing i'm going to do here is that I want you to recall again that when you have something like a, the same thing as e to the power of lin a. So, which is telling us that this e and lin, they are inverse to each other. So, when they cancel out, we are going to have a. So, I want you to take note of that. All right, so we move on. Moving on, we're going to have what we're going to have from here. So I'm going to be having E lean of x minus 1 and lean of x lean of x will be equal to ln of 2. I can also rearrange this as ln of x e to the power of ln of x minus 1 and equals ln of 2. So from there, you can have this to be ln of x e to the power of minus ln of x and equals ln of 2. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will try to multiply both sides by minus 1, that is minus 1 multiplying ln of x ln of x e to the power of minus ln of x equals minus 1 multiplying this we're going to have minus ln of 2 so now from here we're going to have what we're going to have minus ln of x e to the power of minus ln of x which is equals minus ln of 2 all right so from there the next thing we're going to have here is so we'll see let us recall that the lambert w function lambert w function this state that whenever you have w of a e to the power of a so where this and this are the same thing so we're going to have this to be what a so which means this is the same thing as this definitely we're going to have this 
All right, so that's what you're going to do. Now, when you look at the left hand side here, you can see that it resembles what we have here. So therefore, we can what we can do comparison. All right, then apply lambda w function. So now from there, we're going to be having w. We having w into minus ln of x e to the power of minus ln of x and equals what equals w minus ln of 2 all right so the next thing we're going to do from there we're going to see that everything here is going to turn to minus ln of x because this is equals to this all right so we're going to have this will be minus ln of x equals w minus ln of 2 all right, so the next thing we're going to do here is that I'm going to have ln x to the power of minus 1 equals w minus ln of 2. So now the next thing we're going to do from there is that if you take the e of both sides, e of both sides like this, so what are we going to have? We're going to be having this because of this. So we're going to be having 1 over x then equals e w minus ln of 2. Then also, I want you to recall that if you have e w of a, so this will give us a over e w of a like this. So therefore, we can have e w of minus ln of 2 to be minus ln of 2 divided by w minus ln of 2. So now from there, we are now going to replace this with this. All right. So we're going to have our final answer to be, sorry, our answer to be 1 over what? 1 over x, which is equal to, the e is now, ew minus l2 is now going to be minus ln of 2, minus ln of 2, now divided by, w minus ln of 2. Now looking at this, you can see that what we are looking for is a, so you take the reciprocal of both sides. So now we take the, we take the reciprocal, okay, reciprocal. We take the reciprocal, so they are going to flip, this we have, this we come this, so this one also, you come down and this will go up. That's the flip. Flip that. So now from there, you're going to be having x over 1 equals w a minus ln of 2 divided by minus ln of 2. Or you can write it as s equals minus w minus ln of 2 divided by ln of 2 and we have exact form of the solution or if you sorry s is going to be in approximate form s is going to be minus approximately minus 1.4 
two seven. And we have minus zero point this nine three one four seven. All right, so this is the approximation which is telling us that so this is what the complex what this is the complex root so no what no real what no real solution understood so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the class kindly share to your friends so they can learn from it bye, -bye.